Good morning, friends. Welcome once again to another Daily Dose from your COVID chaplain. G'day. And we've been working through this week, we've come to sort of the end of now of the working week, but we've been working through this theme of, of inner freedom. And uh, I know it's very much a, a very personal journey to, to let God come in the inside and, and to deal with the thinking processes, because that's very private. No one else knows what we're thinking. And to deal with the heart responses, because people can't see that either. And they don't know what's brewing and stirring and storming within us. And, and sometimes we can live our whole life with all kinds of inner restrictions and turmoil. And I've been using the word lockdown this week, you know, lockdown in our thinking, lockdown in our heart, uh, lockdown because of other people's uh, social expectations and their pressures and the, the way they programmed us. And a really important one I looked at uh, with you yesterday, which was the, the lockdown of, of unforgiveness being free to forgive. That's a really powerful one. I think the thing that was the most helpful for me coming to inner freedom was to realize that God actually loved me. Um, now, in my struggling youth uh, with a lot of insecurities and, and fears and things going on inside me, um, I, I found myself putting on a front all the time. I tried to look like I was happy no matter what anybody said. I tried to look like I was smart. I tried to look, I was like a politician, just putting on a fake front all the time, putting spin on things and trying to, to, to look right. And I'd build up a false and fake persona, a presentation of myself that people were meant to see and, and like and be impressed with. But it was completely fake. And as God began to deal with me, as God's presence came into my life and he became very real to me and I found that he was sort of stirring me and guiding me and directing me and not speaking audibly, but kind of speaking to me inside, I kind of knew what God was on, on about in my life. I found that he was wanting me to deal with things and to change things. And I was, I was proud and I was stubborn and I was reluctant and I, I didn't know whether I could trust him. You know, all those sort of internal wrangles that go on because we're not free on the inside, you see. And God wanted to bring me inner freedom, but I was, I was resisting it, I was struggling with it. The thing that really blessed me was to realize that God knew everything about what was happening inside me, you know, my thoughts and my, my inner life. He knew all about that. And he loved the real me. <laughs> um, if I could describe it, my, my outside persona was of success and intelligence and someone going to go somewhere. And on the inside, I was an insecure and shriveled and uncertain about what was going to happen and not sure whether I'd be able to cope and afraid that people might find my faults and afraid of rejection. And the real me on the inside, behind the big smiling face, was someone that was really crumpled and, and, and wrinkled and <laughs> shriveled up. And the wonderful thing that blessed me so much as God began to speak to me was to realize that God actually loved the shriveled up me, just the way I really was. He wasn't fooled by the big fake impression. He knew that was rubbish. He actually loved me, not the me that I pretended to be. He actually loved the me, the real me on the inside. And friends, that's the wonderful inner freedom that comes when you know that God truly loves you. Maybe, maybe I'd say it this way, God loves the real you. And so as we follow through in a Freedom Week, I, I have to share this thought with you that you need to catch the revelation. God actually loves you, but not because of all of those external things that people see that you've polished up that make you look good. He loves you because he looks on the inside, the thoughts and the feelings, and he knows whatever condition you are in on the inside. And God loves you, the real you, the shriveled up, fearful, insecure, guilty, ashamed, whatever, you on the inside. So maybe we should declare this, God loves the real you day, or something like that. Seems like a very long name for a day, but you got the picture. This is a day to celebrate and to recognize and to acknowledge in our hearts that God loves the real you, the real you, the internal you, the you that you hope nobody finds out about, the the, 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 the you that you don't want people to really know what those thoughts are or what those feelings are. God loves the real you. And God's plans for you are not to do something with your fake facade. 
He's not planning to use that part of you. He actually wants to take this part of you, the shriveled up part of you. He wants to bring healing and cause the real you on the inside to blossom and to grow and to become fruitful and to become the person that he created you to be and to discover things about you you didn't even know were there. And so the internal part of you becomes so much more wonderful than the fake facade pretended part of you could ever be. That's a beautiful deal. That's the deal God offered me. He said, Chris, I just need you to strip away all that fakery and just be real. Just be real and let me deal with the real you. And the way God did it, uh, spoke it to me about it was he said, I can only deal with real people. God put it to me that if I was going to be fake, that he couldn't deal with me. If I was going to be real and especially real with him, then he could come on in and heal the wounds. He could come on in and restore me. He could make the inner me, the real me, uh, far, far more wonderful than all the fake, uh, impressive me on the outside could ever be. That's the deal I'm offering you today, that God loves the real you. And so today, as you get about whatever you've got to do, the end of the, the working week, maybe you've got a lot of things to do, or maybe you're sitting there staring at the wall saying, when am I going to be allowed to get out of this house? I'm not sure what your day is for you, but whatever it is, Allow this thought to come back into your heart. God loves the real you just the way you really are. That's so important. I'll say it again. God loves the real you just the way you really are. He knows all your secrets. He knows everything about you. And he still loves you. And he's not impressed by the big facade or the appearance of intelligence or whatever else you put on on the outside. He's loving the real shriveled up you on the inside. So today, let God love you. And recognize as you go through the day, things about yourself and you begin to realize, oh, actually, I, I, I do feel my weakness. I feel my insecurity. I then say, thank you, God, that you love me just like that, just the way I am. Receive the love of God. Hey, I suggest maybe you want to watch this a second time or a third time because what I'm saying is actually going to minister to your spirit. So. Maybe you need to watch this several times to really drink this in. But let it be a ministry to you today because this is Inner Freedom Week. And I want you to find the freedom that God loves the real you. Mm. Enjoy that. Drink it in. It's life transforming. And as you do, may God bless you.